Hi guys, welcome to Omron video tutorials. Now in this lesson, we are going to talk about latching and interlocking. Latching and interlocking is a very useful concept when you are designing your uh, PLC letter logic and you want to control your outputs using push patterns. In that case, we used to latch the output. Okay, so let's see what are the conditions and where we have to use the latching. Let's see the first exercise. This says device a circuit such that when 0 2 is on, this is the input okay 100.0 should be on so so if input this is on this output should be latched latched means when you press this push button here now 0.2 is this one if you press this button and if you release it 100 should be latched this should remain on if you press it and release it this should be latched that is what latching is and it says when 0.1 is on 100.0 should be unlatched when i press this switch nc this should be unlatched okay so the situation should be if I press it and release it this should remain on when I press this one this should be off in this case consider 0 0.2 is NO and 0 0.1 is NC this is our case 0, .0 0.0 is NO 0 0.2 is NO and 0 0.1 is NC that's the case okay so let's do that so in the programming window let me go to offline okay now my first input as per the logic says 0 0.1 to latch the output okay so let me take here 0 0.1 enter and let's name it as a 0 dot not 1 it's 0 0.2 my bad this is a now this is used to latch the output so my output is here now what happens generally if I press the button this will be true and this will turn on the output but if I release it this will be off okay so we have to do something here we have to latch the output so what we're gonna do is let's take an endo contact connect in parallel to this input and this should be given the address of this output this is just the exact replica of what we do in release electrical release we connect common and endo beneath your input and that's how we latch it so just tag it by 100.0 enter and enter now you have this contact here now just stick another vertical line connect it like this that's it this is called latching okay so let's just try this one right now without adding the unlatch contact so let me download okay yes yes and okay now have a look that's your trainer now this is my second 0 0.2 and this 100.0 is this one so when I press this this will be on this will be, and this will be latched so have a look I'm going to press this one and you have output is on and when I release it output will remain on sorry this will remain on because this has been latched by its own auxiliary NO contact output is latched okay so let me try again if you're not getting this let me go to the program mode to turn off the PLC and run it again so what happens initially I0.02 is off 100.0 is off 100.0 is off so when I press 0 0.02 this one from here my output gets on and get latched so when I keep pressing it I have two input source which are turning on the output if I release it my 0 0.02 will be off but other one will remain on by its own auxiliary contact we can call it as an auxiliary contact of output coil 100.0 now to break this line we have to use the switch NC to break the ladder so that NC you might be wondering what should be here NO or the NC okay so in this case we are going to take NO okay NO it's 0.1 NO because you know we have normally close switch in the trainer that's why we'll be using NO because this will already turning on this contact let me show you why let me just go to downline and show you this is quite you know confusing for few few people who understand who don't understand better about NO and NC but here the concept will be clear now this is already on so that's why this contact is already on this is NC so it is already giving signal to the PLC so the PLC 0 0.1 is already on if you want to see have a look here this is 0 0.1 this is already on this is because of the NC switch we are using here here that's why this is on that's why the contact 0 0.01 is on in our programming okay so now if I going to press this I 0.0, .0 this will be latched as we have seen earlier 
Now if I press this NC here, this will open this contact which will turn off this output and it will turn on the contact itself again, like this. Okay, so this is latching and this is called unlatching. This is latching and this is unlatching, like that. This is going to work like that. So now this is my on switch, this is my off switch. This was what was asked in our exercise 1, device circuit, when 0 or 2 is on, this should be latched, when 1 is on, this should be unlatched. Okay, so if you are designing such kind of circuit, make sure to give proper addresses. And if you are using this button to stop the circuit, then the logic will be a little different. That we will see in further videos. In this logic, if you have any query, just post a comment, I'll get back to you. Thank you.